steam from the hot lava. It's steam. It's steamy. I'm a magician. <laughs> kitchen and welcome to my channel cake I'm your hostess Suzanne today we're going to be making this super cool volcano cake if you'd like to know how I made it and how you can make it too just keep watching Okay, let's continue with Blake's volcano birthday cake. I baked my chocolate fabulous cake in a 10, 8, and 6 inch cake to create this taper. I've created the top of the volcano with the jar inside using rice cereal and marshmallows. It's hard enough now. I placed it on a 6 inch cake board but trimmed about a half an inch all the way around. Let's go ahead and put the supports in our lower part of our cake so this part doesn't squish down or topple over. We're going to use our bubble tea straws to do that. Now that we have our five bubble tea straws, we're going to stick one in the middle and we're going to stick the four other ones about an inch from the center, kind of like that. We'll just put some ganache on there so our top of our cano will stick. Okay, now that we have our bubble tea straws in, let's go ahead and put a little bit of ganache over the top of these just to help that cake board stick. Let's go ahead and put a crumb coat over our Rice Krispie treats. Now it's time to put the ganache on. You guys, I'm going to finish this cake over at Blake's house. It's his party here in about an hour. 
we're gonna finish the cake off there. <laughs> it won't make any difference to you guys. The scenery will be just a little different. It won't be me alone in my house. It will be a house full of family and friends and chaos, yay! But we'll finish it off there. So let's go ahead and add the ganache now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. You guys, it really does mean the world to me. If you're a returning subscriber coming back to watch another one of my videos, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're new to my channel and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. It's quick and it's easy and just a couple clicks. And while you're down there subscribing, go ahead and hit that bell. It will just remind you when I upload new videos, which is on Tuesdays and Fridays. If you like this cake, please give me a big old thumbs up. That really does help. My grandson, Blake, has the most creative requests for his birthday cakes, you guys. My first video ever on YouTube is his birthday cake for his, I believe, yes, yeah, sixth birthday, no, fifth birthday. That was my sprinkle cake. And then last year, I didn't record his cake, but you guys, I want to remake it because it turned out really good. Um, it was, he asked for a wolf cake. And I made a head of a wolf coming up like this. And I sent him a picture and I said, do you want blood coming out of his mouth? <laughs> and he said, yes, I do. So I made a, a, a wolf with blood coming out of his mouth and it actually looks really good. So I might recreate that for Halloween, you guys. <laughs> Blake is very creative. He also wanted cherries rolling down this volcano to look like it's lava. So I'm taking some cherry pie filling over to his house to do at the last minute. Blake loves rocks, but he loves gold rocks the best. <laughs> I do have some candy that is gold covered. So I'm thinking about bringing that over to see if he wants to add that to the cake. Might be interesting. I think it looks pretty cool. I need to get this place cleaned up and head on over to Blake's house for his seventh birthday party. Yay! I'm having an amazing day. I hope you are as well. Until next time, and make it a great day. Hey, my God. It's blood. I had to milk a lot of mosquitoes to get it. Do you have a candle? This is a blood from a heart. Yeah, that's right. I got a kinko 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 I